India. They heard people speak of the elephant, but because they were blind, they had never seen one. One day, an elephant wandered into the village, and the blind men went to find out what an elephant was. The first blind man reached out and touched the leg, and shouted out with glee, Oh me, oh my, I think I see, the elephant is a tree. The second blind man touched the side. This feels so smooth and tall. The elephant, I must admit, is a great big wall. The long dangling tail, the third blind man, did grow. I think you two blind men are wrong. The elephant is like a rope. The large and waving ear was grasped by the fourth man's bony hand. For goodness sake, my friends, I know the elephant is like a fan. The fifth blind Indian man took hold of the tusk and felt great fear. Beware, blind men, the elephant is like a sturdy spear. Six reached out and touched the trunk, exclaiming, Heaven's sake, look out, look out, this elephant is very like a snake. What I want to get across in that full tale is that each one of them had such a narrow view of what they, they felt and what they uh, experienced and what they shared with someone else. So had they just stretched and reached a little farther, they could have shared experiences. And so that's what I'm trying to encourage you today is stretch. Native American, you can, my mother wraps my tooth in a food like meat or bread. Then I feed it to a female dog and say, replace this tooth with a better one. So they have little, cute little pictures on, on, on there. Um, and then, let's see, one of my other favorites was, ah, Costa Rica. My mother takes my tooth and has it plated with gold and made into an earring for me to wear. <laughs> so they make, you know, in different cultures, they make, like, necklaces, they make jewelry and they carry them around. Cure diarrhea, according to this gentleman over here. 